Good morning everyone. Since Typhoon Odette hit the Philippines, many people have been drinking contaminated water that has bacteria, parasites, it causes diarrhea which leads to dehydration and death. That's why the government, NGOs and volunteers have been distributing bottled water. But there are other options which I want to talk about today. For example, the life straw. This will actually allow us to drink contaminated water safely. Now you see there I had to suck a few times to get it started because it goes through the filter, fills up the container and then it comes out the top. And this can filter out 99.9% .9 of bacteria and parasites. So this is a very good option. It doesn't require any electricity. It doesn't require pressurized water and I don't have to pre-filter my water. What they recommend is that every so often you blow through the straw and that will use the clean water inside to actually clear the filter and that will extend the life of your filter which they say can go for up to 4,000 liters of water which is a significant amount and when you've finished using the filter you're just going to close the caps on both ends just to keep any insects from getting inside now there are many companies selling similar devices but this life straw is the one that's known all around the world. It's been tested and proven to meet EPA water standards in the US. So while you might find something cheaper, at least this one has been tested and proven to work. Now during an emergency, you could probably have one straw used by a whole family, everybody taking turns passing it around. It would get annoying, so you might want to have one per person or you buy one of the larger filters from Life Straw because they have some where you put the filter on a container like this, there's a bag at the top that you fill with water and then it drips through. So there's no need to suck and you get your clean water very easily. I think I paid around 13 US dollars for this from Amazon, but you can buy them here in the Philippines. They have a distributor in Davao City, although the price is a little bit higher. Now, another option is to boil your water. You can use a mini stove like this, which is powered by these very affordable butane canisters. Now, most likely you're going to want to use a coffee filter or a t-shirt or something like that to actually filter your water first. And this is basically just to remove any soil and debris that could be in the water. I'm using this coffee filter, but you could also use a t-shirt or other piece of cloth. This pre-filter is not to make the water safe to drink. It's just to remove the sediment. Boiling it is what's going to kill off the bacteria, the viruses and the parasites. But what if you run out of gas or you weren't able to get yourself a little stove like this? Well, another option would be charcoal. You buy a box of this and the shelf life is pretty much indefinite as long as you keep it dry. So you can have yourself a charcoal fire, you can boil the water, make it safe to drink. Worst case scenario, you get some scrap wood, you build yourself a small fire and you boil the water. The most important thing is not to drink the contaminated water. What happens in these kind of scenarios often is that water will be taken from streams, from the estero, from rainwater collection, or even from fire engines. They will drive around and deliver water to people. It might be okay for a washing, for taking a shower, but it's not okay to drink. You have to take action to make it safe. And that's where our third option comes into play. These are aqua tabs, and believe it or not, this tiny little tablet can give us up to 20 liters of safe drinking water. During the water shortage in Metro Manila, we saw a lot of people getting buckets of water. It's okay to shower, but you couldn't drink it. With this little tablet here, you can actually have up to 20 liters of safe drinking water. If your water is clear, the CDC say you can use one tablet. If your water is cloudy, they recommend running it through a filter like a t-shirt or other clean fabric and then using two tablets. And they recommend that you stir the water with a clean utensil and then leave it for 30 minutes. Obviously you want to make sure that it is 20 liters of water that you're adding your tablet to. And after 30 minutes, we have clean, safe 
drinking water. It does have a chemical smell, it does have a chemical taste, but at least you know it's safe to drink. So hopefully this video can give ideas to people about how they can have safe drinking water, either for their own family or to help other people. Yes, we should continue to give bottled water because it's an immediate relief for those who are so badly affected, but there are also other options that we should be considering, whether it's filters like this or chemicals, which are actually readily available in pharmacies right now, or teaching people to boil their water. Most people know that already, but sometimes you really have to remind people because they have so much stress, they've lost so much of their stuff, and they might not be thinking straight. So these are just options to consider for us and for other people that we want to help. So if you have any other ideas, any suggestions, leave it in the comment section down below. This is a very basic overview of just a handful of options. There are other options. Some are more expensive, some are cheaper, some are safer, but these are just some ideas to consider. So thank you for watching.